What is up, guys? Osmosis here. Come with you with Dying Light 2. So, we're gonna keep this short. We're gonna jump straight into new game. Start at heart. Now, we'll be playing this playthrough with, uh, with two friends. It's uh, Eagle and Barrio. And, I guess, the main conflict will be us arguing which option for the story we should take. I don't know if it will affect solo play or not, but I guess we'll find out. Um, I'm gonna try to keep this, see if we can just determine by the amount of missions, if they should be mission per video, or if I should just try and take 30 to 45, maybe an hour video. So, um, let's just jump right into this. Now, the main thing with hard is that the enemy will adapt to your playstyle more efficiently than he does in normal, easy or normal. So you can't be repetitive. Have to do all kinds of combat styles. be more fun <laughs> you used to be younger I uh, dumber what matters is you still just as fast because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim yeah I know I know get up here I want to show you something all right we're just right in here all right so normal buttons oh, yeah. sound drink can be crazy I boys you're unmuted Hey, uh, both of us have pl pressed play and are just about starting the tutorial. Yeah, I literally just finished the starting uh, intro, uh, the, the cinematic that was. Yeah, okay. I'm in cinematic. Me too. Shit, man. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come. I'm very excited about the music in the game. Where are we going? You'll see. The ambient music is very good. And I swear well, incredible. the guy that you're playing, Most he sounds don't like don't last two, three scene. years on the road. Oh, you've been kicking around for what? Four years now? It's and just like... Alive. The... The... So are you. The ambient music in know, the first game was I'm so fucking awesome. good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Seriously. I wish I had as much okay, energy as right you. Right off the bat? Got graphics? a new lead on Jane? Awesome. Oh, uh, trail went cold Good spike. Paris. Which route you take? Yeah. Through Baines or Gary? The funny thing is that you're yeah, saying Baines. graphics are awesome. What a short sure. hole. Some five yeah. rickety huts left and a ramp shot on fence. so fucking balanced. <laughs> Look at that. A well, beehive be, full of honey. To be fair, so I am on a 1080 like Ti. Uh, no way. <laughs> Oh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here, too. I do need to reduce the mouse sensitivity, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I literally just found that out instantly and just, like, can do it on What's my mouse. Like... I mean, I... I yeah, I turned down mine, like, five before even starting playing, and it was not enough. So, like, now I'm at five, and that's all right, I guess. I know missed what Spike. Mill looks like, right? Mm. 
This has been such a long time since I played like this or an immersive first person. Do you game. remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Yeah. Oh yeah, the one that had that saying. Uh, I'm just, just remember into chamomile and honey are gifts. Yeah, keep and just giving. looking out over the like lucky you, you just might hillsides and and the fucking waterfall. It looks amazing. <laughs> you never forget your first. Come on, we almost there. Nice crib. Damn it, it locked. Beautiful. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. So, with recording and playing, the game is on. Uh, the the GPU is in 68 uh, VRAM usage. I tried putting it to PX12. And just on the menu, it went to 80-something percent. <laughs> wow. Those are rookie numbers. Gotta pump <laughs> them up. I mean, Party. my usage is 94 yeah, percent. GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. You're on a what? 26A Super, right? 27 Super. 27 Super. I'm getting over 100 frames. No, over 60 frames. Like, with the settings at high, so... I actually don't have the um, NVIDIA overlay enabled because I was experiencing such a major bug with the uh, the FPS counter while playing Division. Mm -hmm. So I just disabled it altogether. And I just put this door down. Yeah. Oh, yes, even that kick actually. Empty. I like the echoing sound yeah, when you hear the zombie screaming. There's in here. so much, like, it sounds like they're everywhere, but they're nowhere to be yeah. seen. Yeah, and that, that's a bit scary. What the? Hey, everything all right? Yeah, just rats. I think it's time we parted ways. Why? I'm starting to worry about you, and you know what I'm saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Um, what the? What a dick! Tasted back then. Who do you voodoo? Hmm. Sounds familiar. Hey, 
Are you guys in the house? Yeah. Nada. I just Shit. arrived. The, there's a big ass pi piano there. I'm wondering did one play it? Sing me a song, you're the piano man. And that's what they called art? <laughs> Funny. Alright, we're just gonna quickly search through everything in here and see if uh, we can actually find anything else of value, then we'll continue through the doors. That's what they call art. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Considering an artist just recently sold a painting very similar to that for a hundred mil, and it literally, like, the twins, they're almost one year old, they could draw something like that if we just put, like, paint on their hands. Yeah. I crawled under the piano. That's heartbreaking. There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. They died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky too. I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. I feel like I might have actually made it a little bit too dim. So I did lower the brightness a little bit. Yo, so guys, if you guys go into HUD, there are three settings. RPG, yeah. action, and then immersive. You can disable everything. <laughs> yeah, and then you can like have a custom one to like turn yeah. off what you don't want. I think that was the biggest thing I saw from the gameplay trailers and shit like that. That people wanted, I uh, didn't want the health bar over the zombies. Oh yeah, no yeah, you're you're right that. Health bars is I don't know, it's it's it gives me too much of an MMO feeling. Mm. It kinda brings you out of it. What kind of logic is that? I'm starting to worry about you. I get I better fuck off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's um, why it's a dick. Yeah, it's I'm not sure about that logic. It's actually kind of sus because it instantly came to the feeling, oh, he's betraying us right now. At least they had each other. See, what I don't get is like, how did all of these people just, just die? Um. And to the world classy. party, I'm guessing they killed themselves so they don't go zombie. Some of their dying positions don't make sense for a suicide. N uh, that, what I'm thinking is like, um... Overdosing or something on like, pills or shit like that. Yeah. I'm sorry I ran from you. Yeah. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No oh, more running. Yikes. God. Hey, come here. Check this out. That person. I swear he told me to check out the gun, but I didn't see a gun. Am I, am I blind? I have not seen a gun. I haven't seen a gun either. So, 
uh, I found my way up to the guy. Not entirely sure if it was the right way, but it was, it's the way. Did you parkour up the set? Yes. <laughs> Sit down, bro. Yeah. Parkour everything. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Everyone? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. Oh, first game got referenced. I tracked down that guy for you. What, what, what guy? Ah. Quit pretending. You okay. became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? <laughs> when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. I really don't like the echoing sounds. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. Villador. I mean, this sounds amazing, huh? but... Hey, I got a favor to ask you. Don't like it. You deliver this to Gary. It's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but but they pay I well. I keep thinking the zombies are like and twenty meters ahead of like me. Pilgrims. Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. They keep okay, they're referencing maybe. pilgrims, but they haven't to be transported through the hordes of infected. And suddenly, they're knocking on our I doors. I think so. The pilgrims are the people that go between the All cities right. and like but bring things to them out, mm. because that's the only form of communication between the settlements. The pilgrims no, that one. actually dare to not settlement. So what about that guy? Why did it like well, this? I talked to him over the radio. Oh. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. Uh, I. Th I actually no, help. I'm not sure. That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. I'll just go straight to the city. It's not that simple. Villador was supposed to be one of the zones, cities that were walled off to keep out the plague. The plan fucked up, but this city. And its walls survived. But this guy knows a way in. Get in I touch with him, and he'll tell you everything. So opinionated, giving you giving you options and choices. But I guess that's part of the second game. It's quite nice, actually. What does he want in return? Changing direction and shit like that. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for mm -hmm. free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... Hot-headed, constantly getting into <laughs> well, trouble. Right. Still too early in the Sounds evening. Sounds like crazy. Sort of eyes. I was going to say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that Waltz, what's his deal? Is he family? No, not at all. He's a bad guy. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah, yeah, one day. Well, my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that Waltz guy, or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz at dawn. The guy's waiting for you. It will be gold if the game makes us input that.
Oh, I gotta get used to the whole running thing and parkour thing again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was constantly debating with myself, like, should I take a few days and play Dying Light 1 just to, like, get used to the whole system? And I was mm. constantly just like, nah, don't need to, you'll remember, it's like riding a bike. It's, it's, it's real not. Yeah, I, I was also contemplating doing it, but in the end, what I did was just, I watch someone else play the game to catch up, uh, to take the story in again. Can you not do the whole sliding thing anymore? Do the whole what? The whole sliding. Uh, I think sliding is a perk. Ah, uh, that could be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Well, dodging isn't. Wasn't that something you unlocked in the first game as well? Wait, dodging is not a password. It's, it's not a perk. Ah. Oh. feel like it was a perk in the first one. Ah, oh, biters. I know there's a perfect dodge. A perfect dodge and a perfect, um... Perfect parry, those are perks, or like, yeah. things like that. Get to radio antenna. You guys know where uh, where the next shop is that sells flashlights? I really like one. Yeah, same. Or NVGs. I, I could live with some NVGs. That that could work as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would help un until you play with us and we constantly f just shine a flashlight in your face. I can't stop looking at how fucking good the game looks. Oh my god. Where are you currently in the intro? Um, I'm beating up zombies. Yeah, I, I just got down yeah, sure. the tiny little house. Okay. for telling me that now, idiot. What, me? No, the game. Oh, by the way, uh, Eagle, go into your settings, go under okay. controls, and at the very bottom, 
uh, turn off ads fall assist. Ah. Yeah, it just Thank adds, you. A, adds a little bit of extra difficulty. Yeah. I mean, we're playing on hard. Might as well make it harder. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> oh my god. Parkour level up. Well, you'll see. I mean, I think I'm ahead of you. But... Have you gone up the bus? Gone up what? Have you gone up the bus? Yes. Yeah. I said fuck after getting up there. Ah. Yeah, looking down, I can see the tunnel where it, where it, where, it, where, it, where you came from. I don't necessarily know what I feel about the uh, the game having the super long intro before you can play with others, but I guess in a way it makes sense. Mine is the whole I'm just casually collecting beehives. Yeah, that's odd, I think. On the other hand, I would rather play with a noob that's played for two hours. Then a guy just jumped into the game and goes like, HELP! <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's that's understandable. But then again, we wouldn't be doing that now, would we? We would. What? <laughs> no. We would. You're honestly gonna tell me right now that once night fall, the once night hits, you're not gonna go like. What was that? What is wrong oh, no. with you? <laughs> I'm just saying. I know. I'm, I'm oh fuck me! Oh oh! <laughs> yes. Dying Light is the only game where I have actually been afraid to play during the night. Yep. I'm gonna hate this the night in this game. Like that is like It is the only game that has really like brought on the scare factor. Bro. Um just letting you know when oh, cool. once you hit the cop there, there's a there's a splash screen that comes up that's combat basics. The first sentence in it, you're not gonna like it. Well, thing. Is it efficient? No. They're telling me how to dodge. Almost there. <laughs> Do the dodge. Oh! I missed the dodge. Dum -dum -dum -dum. I can't see anything. Oh, it's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. It won't get any better than this. I'm, I'm telling you, I messed up the brightness of my game, but I can't seem to find... The brightness letter? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not in the graphics settings either. Hey. Oh. Maybe it's only in the main menu? I don't know. Yeah, I found the gamma one, but not the brightness one. Ooh. Wow, the broadcast station should be here somewhere. Oh, thank you, let's grab. <laughs> I'm confused now. Right, so I'm on the bridge. I jump. No, the no. Bus There's a into, zombie into the air. Like, and I was I... able to 180 and just like grab the ledge before I fell down. 
there's there's a zombie and someone moved them it died without me doing anything ago. okay let's give it a try it ran away from me and this is it the broadcast station yeah it ran away from me and I, then start the I just uh, yes it's in the middle of the night and we're gonna start that that's not smart oh start what uh guess we will just find out later yeah Something happened to us, Modus. Um, so, you know how we guys disabled enemies' health bars? Yeah. That's gonna come around and bite us in the ass a lot. Oh, did you did you find the house? Yeah, big house. Uh -huh. Then you probably saw the combat basics plus screen. Oh, you mean power attacks? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Um, the banshee that you just fought that or are fighting. She just died without me doing anything. Also, like when when we were climbing up, um, I, I did not miss the uh. That was close. I did th the whole uh losing stamina while climbing. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I fell down twice on the stairs because I didn't have stamina when I jumped up. And so, when you lose them, you just draw. That's nice. That's real nice. Yeah. I think you can get stamina efficiency while parkouring. Not the smartest thing ever. Is the light dying? Not yet. 
Mm. Was that funny? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Safe zone, yeah. And so safe zones are good with UV lights, stash, resting place, that makes sense. Okay, so I found the uh, the legendary like things that came with the with the addition. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're literally like one or two damage higher than the <laughs> baseball the guy gives us. <laughs> well, that's lovely. Yeah, so they're <laughs> they're basically not that not that great. Although it might be based on level, so I'm just gonna go ahead and not claim it. Yeah, I I didn't. Right, sleep. Have you brought 12346? We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Baby, I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. I know. Do what I tell you. Yes, we found out who waltz is. Separate us. This is how we'll always find each other. Uh, lady! Not him, no! Aiden! Dr. Waltz, we won't make it. The military will be here any moment. Wait. Close your eyes. Why through the clothes? Why? It's so impractical. But whatever, whatever. God damn it. Fire! Fire in the lab!
I had time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. Thank you. This, this I love. This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Hello? Aiden? Yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. I thought you'd change your mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. Wait. I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Aiden. Well, that's new good news, guys. And for this episode one, we'll leave it here. And we'll just continue right off. I'll, I'll just put this in a playlist, so we'll you can just cycle through. And there won't be any intros, just in the first one, obviously. But in the playlist, we'll just cycle next episode and so on. So, that's it for now guys, I'll catch you in the next one.